So that was the first big weekend of the summer. Starts Thursday as usual with a canteen quiz, and again no one wins a big cash prize. Later I do my sound bloke routine by approaching Gina's new boyfriend to say that he shouldn't feel there's any animosity between us, and then I even go and make peace with her. Shouldn't have bothered. Then on Friday night we went through to the arches. There was only one car going, so someone had to get the train. We got through quite late, and we went to a pub to take the gear. There was no problems getting in, we saw others waiting in the front of the queue, so we skipped in. It was a good night, everyone was nutted and I ended up dancing with some blonde girl. I thought she had been quite pretty until last night when Matthew informed me she had in fact been a pig. When the club finished we wandered the streets for a while until we got to this 24 hour cafe. I didn't want to look at it so we left and got a taxi back to Morai's flat. I couldn't sleep. So I sat about drinking someone else's strawberry tonic wine and trying to keep everyone else up. Then at 10 o'clock in the morning we went downstairs to buy some drink. We had intended to watch a football in the afternoon but we passed it by then and slid right through it. I waited to find the English on one two nil. Then we went to get the train home, had a few in the station bar. We had some stuff left for the previous night's supplies, so we, we got home and decided to go to the John Zindy disco. Same story as Freddy, lots of hugging, lots of dancing, etc, etc. We couldn't sleep again, so we went to the park to look at the tomb, taking a detour through the play park. To get in, we had to climb over a 10 foot steel fence, which was only in severe bruise with our hands, legs, and groins. But we had a good laugh on the stuff, especially the tube slide, which probably doubles up as a urinal for drunk teens. Then we walked through the woods to look at the tomb. It was a big disappointment, but the mist on the lake was cool. Sunday afternoon, we got up to John's with a lot of beer and time to watch The Simpsons. It was a really good episode about love or was anything tragedy, except, of course, for Margin Hall. I was quite moving at the end, and to tell you the truth, my eyes were a bit damp. Then we watched these young girls in swimsuits on a water fight in the street. We went up the pub about ten, and I was busy for a sudden night. Lots of people went over, including my first ever girlfriend. And I still find very attractive, quite frankly, but I didn't really speak to her. She's probably still a bitch anyway. My friend Gillian was there, I had a chat with her, she was still quite pleasant. At the same time I watched Malcolm make some terrible attempt to try and chat up a girl with him called Joe. He made some remark about a skirt that was barely there the previous night or something. I couldn't sleep again that night, that's just some seriously disturbing nightmares. Matthew said I should cut down on the cheese. Well, 